NASA now one step closer to their mission to the moon. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi explains what needs to happen next for Artemis to launch. Progress continues on NASA's massive space launch system rocket ahead of the Artemis 1 launch, getting us one step closer to the moon. NASA making strides on their mission to the moon, a decade in the making, finally seeing the fruits of their labor. Back in October, NASA completed the stacking of the rockets, meaning they put all the parts together. Next steps, rolling out the rocket to launch pad 39B on St. Patrick's Day. And then a wet dress rehearsal, a run through of launch day targeted for next month. We're getting ready to do what we call a big wet dress rehearsal, um, where we're going to be uh, really feeling the rocket, verifying that everything works, and then attempting a scrub and then draining the uh, the rocket of all its propellants and um, really testing all the systems, our hardware, our people. NASA's Exploration Ground Systems Manager says their teams are working on installing the flight termination system on the rocket, making sure they can abort the flight if necessary. Then the 322 foot tall rocket will roll back into the vehicle assembly building for final checkout ahead of the big day. I'm going to be a very emotional. Um, this is one of the most rewarding uh, jobs I've had in my career at NASA. And the team that we work with has just been amazing and I can't believe they've gotten us to this point. And we're all, we all cannot wait for this uh, rocket to launch successfully. And NASA says they're waiting to see what happens with the wet dress rehearsal before they publicly decide on a launch date. For now at Kennedy Space Center, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.